In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to beat every defense in Madden 23. This comes out of Trips Tight End. If you guys want to get my full Trips Tight End offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. It's going to be a big week for our Patreon members. We're revamping some of our ebooks. We also are going to be releasing another brand new offensive ebook I'm really excited about this week. We've released 13 Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including Trips Tight End. So, again, if you want to take your game to the next level, make sure that you join the patreon link is in the description if you want to check it out the play we're going to be taking a look at is my favorite play in madden 23 it's trips tight in and the play is pa slot corner there's so much you can do with this play and we're going to show you one of my favorite setups in this video so really simple setup here all we're going to do is we are going to streak our outside receiver outside trips receiver we're going to flat our middle trips receiver, and then we're going to in our tight end. So you'll see here with this, the reason this play is so effective is because essentially they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to go guard the corner route, or are they going to guard our backside check down? Because of this in or uh, because of this flat and streak over here, it really makes it very difficult to play any kind of zone or match coverage on this. And so what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, this corner route is one of the best man beating routes in the entire game. It's very consistent against man. Um, if you have short and elite on that player, it's going to be very uh, effective for you. Now, you'll see that this streak here a lot of times can actually get some separation as well uh, against man-to-man. -man. If you guys know anything about Madden 23, you know that aggressive catching is very effective. And Trip Side End is one of the best, best formations in the game for aggressive catches or even just the opportunity to beat them over the top with a simple streak. So... Having a streak on the field, especially to the outside receiver this year, is one of the best things you can do offensively. Uh, again, you see here, uh, we're able to just get that out to Mike Evans. We can obviously could have freeformed that over the top a little better. But anyways, you see the idea. So if they're lackadaisical in their coverage, that's going to be open. Then they're going to start shading over top. And if they want to do that, this is one of the best aggressive catches in, in the game. When they shade over top it's very simple to ag them, okay? All you're going to do is you're going to high ball and you're going to pass lead it up and outside, click on, and you're just going to basically go make a play with your user, aggressive catch it uh, by holding triangle on uh, PlayStation and at, or, uh, Y on Xbox. So those are some of our, our reads here. Now, if they're going to make an effort, which typically they're going to have to go user this... Um, they're going to have to go user this, this this corner, okay? So if they go to do that, that's where this tight end route is going to be kind of a check down. Now, Kyle Rudolph's not the best tight end, but again, if you have a short end elite on your tight end, it's really pretty effective. You'll see here, sometimes they'll get a little better separation than others, but you see it's just a simple backside check down. Now, another thing you could do this in route if you wanted to get a little bit bigger of a play out of your check down is you could smart route the in route. So you'll see here, it's going to require a little bit more time, uh, but you can do something like that and go, go make a play with your tight end as well. Okay. Now, where this play really shines even more so is against zone. And if they run any zone on you, you should have a dot every single time. So we're going to start with cover four. Uh, I love this play against cover four because of the fact that because you're using this outside receiver on the streak, it's going to make this route right here super, um, super open your, your corner. Now, sometimes what can happen is what you just saw right there where basically the corner gets beat so badly off the line of scrimmage that the corner route or that the streak is open, the corner's not. But you see right here, generally speaking, the corner is going to be your open receiver um, in any zone coverage. This is why when you run this play, ideally you want to run this with your trips to the wide side of the field. If your uh, formation was flipped, you would want to block your running back instead of run the play action. Um, I've got another video explaining why that is a really valuable thing to do this year. Uh, but anyways, you see there, just cooking cover four. Uh, so I wanted to move to cover three. And this is a really good play for cover three as well because, again, he's going to run off the deep zone and then you're just going to have this corner route over and over again. It's very hard to stop this corner route this year. Um, zone just does not get out there very well against corner routes. And that's why the corner route is the best route in the game, in my personal opinion. Now, what about match coverage? Match coverage can generally be kind of decent against corner routes. 
You'll see here, because it's coming from that number three receiver, he will match him, but oftentimes he's going to be out leveraged, and oftentimes you're going to have a wide open dot. Now, the other thing that you could do if you wanted to, this is a little bit better of a setup against match coverage to smoke screen the outside guy, so you're just changing the assignment up a little bit. Uh, but what you'll see here is a lot of times triangle will actually be wide open for a touchdown if you're facing match coverage. Okay, so and then the last uh, zone coverage we want to go over is cover two sync, or not cover two sync, but just cover two basically. This uh, fade on the outside here this year is really effective. You can freeform this uh, pretty well against cover two. If you have any suspicion that it might be cover two, one of my things I did want to suggest is to fade the outside receiver. That was a streak. You saw that it's a little bit more inside. A fade is going to get a little bit more outside leverage so that you can actually get the ball. You see here, see how much easier it is for me to get the ball away from that deep safety. So it's fairly simple to beat cover two this year. There's not a whole lot of thinking. Literally, the fades on the outside are incredible against cover two. However, I did want to sh show you one other thing here. Your corner route's still going to be there for you. So once they kind of do that, you'll see here, corner route's still going to be in a good spot. So you have everything that you had. And then again, uh, the beauty of this play is as zone goes, you know, as they as they adjust their zone to go guard the corner route, then that's going to leave your tight end in this little window right here to be able to get a nice little check down for about 10, 15 yards. So this play all in all is just one of the best plays in the game. It's very simple, but it's very effective. And that's what I like about Trips Tied In. If you want to learn more about this offense and how to run Trips Tied In at a very high level, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Just want to remind you that you get access by being a member, you get access to everything. All of our ebooks, all of our updates. We've dropped content every single week this Madden season for our Patreon members, and we're planning to do so for the remainder of the year. So make sure you're in our Patreon if you want to sign up for that. Head down to the description below. And thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you at the Patreon page.